We'll talk about a job that is literally out of this world. For six months this year, our next guest lived and worked at the International Space Station. She returned to Earth just a few weeks ago aboard the Russian Soyuz capsule. NASA astronaut Tracy Caldwell Dyson joins me now. Welcome, Tracy. Congratulations on your mission. Uh, and welcome back to Earth. Thanks a lot, Martha. It's great to be here. You know, I know you had a bit of a delay. There was a difficulty unhooking from the space station. That must have been a little bit scary. Yeah, actually, it was kind of endearing that the station didn't want to let go of us. We didn't <laughs> want to let go of it. So, so tell me about, you know, we all uh, watched with sort of different, you know, reaction to the fact that, that the shuttle program is no longer. Uh, and now we're hitching a ride on the Soyuz uh, with our Russian astronaut friends. Tell me, what, what was that like? Uh, you mean riding on the Soyuz or uh, letting go of the shuttle? Letting go of the shuttle and, you know, what, what's it like sort of, you know, being in that companionship uh, relationship now with Russia? Well, letting go of the shuttle is bittersweet. We, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an amazing vehicle and it has served us so well. It's a, it's a really huge part of our space program and all of our success. So it's, it's hard to let go of something so fantastic, but at the same time, we all know that uh, in order to get to the next step, to go beyond low Earth orbit, that uh, we need to uh, move on and uh, let the uh, success of the shuttle mission uh, retire and, and uh, learn from it. Uh, now shifting gears to, uh, to sharing a ride with our Russian, uh, our Russian partners, I can tell you it's a, it's a totally different experience, um, but uh, one that I think uh, I'm very excited about because we have a we have a strong partnership with our uh, our uh, Russian colleagues, and their vehicle, though it's uh, vastly different from the shuttle, it is a very robust vehicle, and it's uh, a very safe vehicle, and it's withstood the test of time, and it really gets the job done. So it's uh, how it's, you, you say think, that they uh, you know they have a different vehicle to, uh, I'm sorry, we have a little bit of a delay. You say that they handle it differently, and that it's a different experience. How so? Well, uh, you know, where the shuttle is a very uh, complex vehicle um, and its, and its uh, strength is in its redundancy and its systems, so, it's, so if one fails, another one can uh, pick up in its place. The Soyuz, on the other hand, is a very simple vehicle and its, and its strength is in its robustness so that you don't expect uh, systems on it to, to, uh, to fail um, but to go the duration. And so the, they're, they're, the engineering that went into these two vehicles is vastly different from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. Also, the, the shuttle is um, a bit larger than the, the Soyuz and so right. you're, you're in a bit of a, a cozy environment gotcha. when you're in the Soyuz and uh, nothing wrong with that, it's just very different. And uh, the preparation that you take, um, at least from a, a, a NASA astronaut point of view of, of launching in the Soyuz versus the shuttle, is that you leave your home uh, mm -hmm. well, well in advance of your mission. And so for me personally, um, having to, uh, to leave the country eight months before, I mean, right. was two months before I started my mission, and then uh, all of the steps I took to, uh, to launch in that vehicle uh, right. were away from uh, family and friends and all that well, was I'm sure as, they're very as glad familiar to, have you to back, me Tracy. as when I launched uh, on the shuttle. And we are grateful to you. You're a great inspiration uh, for the young people of our country to study science and technology. Uh, and congratulations, Tracy Caldwell-Dyson. Thanks so much for being with us today.